Hey guys, it's Brown Bear here. Um, sorry about I'm not on camera today. Uh, basically, I am in between cameras. I'm currently switching to a Canon M5 and uh, got my tripod delivered yesterday. So I'm just in the middle of setting all that up. So hopefully I'll uh, be able to give you some really high definition video of my face. Um, good looking and all that as I am. But uh, no, done joking. But look, yeah, no, in between cameras. So I'm hoping to get it set up and get a improve the channel and basically improve my gear but uh, today the purpose of today is I want to show you how to basically get a convoy an enemy convoy say or sorry a friendly convoy say you're flying a mission and you want an en a friendly convoy you know to trigger when you're when you get close to a target or to trigger when you get to the IP for example and then for them to radio in so that you know they've activated you know um, and they're, they're driving to the target as well and let's say you want to go a step further and you want to be able to see them uh, maybe it's at night time or it's in low vis or whatever and you want them to puff smoke so I'm going to show you how to do that um, so this is kind of on the back of a number of comments that have been made to me uh, recently a number of questions I've gotten asked around um, people really liking my last video around you know making the uh, the scenery destruction one how to make your you know uh, DCS world a bit more immersive with the smoke and the fires and the shelling and all sorts so um, let's just add to that while we can yeah and let's make it a bit better for everyone so okay go into trigger zones put your triggers on down here let's let's move her a bit closer uh, let's call this smoke trigger let's go back into trigger zones now that we have our zone or let's go back into triggers rather now that we have our zone click new call this uh, smoke and the condition is that this particular unit you can do unit coalition um, whatever you want uh, let's go unit inside zone the unit is the aerial 11 which is our friend in the ATN and he's inside this smoke trigger yes so we want something to happen. So we go to actions, click on new, and we want smoke marker on unit. So we want the smoke marker to be on the ground unit, our friend in the APC, and we'll make it red. Let's see what it looks like. speed of time control Z shift Z to normalize there we go so our friend in the A10 has just entered the trigger zone and as you can see our friend in the APC is now puffing smoke yeah pretty cool all right let's go a step further so you now know how to puff smoke on a particular unit using a trigger zone let's go a step further and make it even cooler and I'll show you how to puff make your ground uh, units puff smoke on command okay so let's go into triggers let's go new triggers starting a new um, once is a type yes and we're gonna call this radio item okay so a radio menu item let's just say there's no condition and what we are doing here is we're adding a radio menu button or item to the radio menu in this case the F10 radio menu so it's have gone past it I think radio item add for coalition we don't want all, all our enemies to know or to have this function they could just get our mate to puff smoke any time any stage so coalition is blue I'm gonna call this puff smoke and what this does is basically when we activate this so when we press F10 and when we press on this puff smoke button it's gonna make uh, DCS is in the background is gonna make a, a flag and that flag is going to have a, uh, the flag is going to be flag one and it's going to have a value of one it's okay so flag one is equal to one basically we then need to go into a new trigger and we need to call this smoke flag and we need to make a condition so what we want to try and what we're trying to do here is when we press on that radio menu button that we just added DCS is going to make the flag as we discussed 
but we want DCS to check so you know to know that we want the unit to puff smoke so we need to put the condition in so once the smoke flag flag right so flag equals so flag 1 equals not 10 because our flag has a value of 1 if you remember so once flag 1 is equal to 1 which will happen when we press the F10 puff smoke button we want something to happen and what do you want to happen we want well we want our, our, our mate John in the APC to pull smoke so we go smoke marker on unit same as before ground unit 1 1 and let's make him puff red smoke again okay but let's say you want to make this even better let's make our friend in the A10 tell John to puff smoke right so for this example our mate is not John but let's just um, it gives you an idea, right? So uh, we want to add a new action. Okay, so new. And we want to play a sound file. So we want them to communicate. So, or look like he's communicating. So sound to, let's just go sound to all, make it easy. Open. You can do uh, sound to coalitions, what you'd use most of the time. Um, and these are my sound files. Pick your sound file. I have green smoke, so let's go back and change this to green for the crack. Uh, select that sound file, hit OK, and you can put a delay in. So obviously that means that your sound file will play after X amount of seconds yeah, that you put in here. Um, so let's go back here, change our smoke to, um, sorry, it's here, to green. Okay, and I think I have that. Yeah, I do have that right. So let's fly okay so we're in the a10 press the radio menu f10 and there we have it there's our puff smoke so let's puff smoke i don't have my stick connected so this this guy is just climbing for a crack puff smoke there's our sound uh, foil being played let's go to an external view and there's our friend puff and smoke so pretty cool yeah so um, I tend to use this a lot um, because, uh, as I said, uh, well, I don't know if I said, but I may have said in my previous 600 takes um, that I tend to miss trigger zones quite a lot because I go off mission or off waypoint, uh, particularly from refueling, because uh, for any of you that refuel and set your tanker to orbit, they love a massive, a good wide orbit of about 20 miles. So you tend to be way off your waypoints uh, or your next waypoint. Um, so anyway, yeah, that, that, that look, I'm talking nonsense. But anyway, that's how you do that. Uh, if you'd like to see something else, please do tell me. I'd like to do a random shout out to my new friend. Uh, well, I say friend, but he's a new subscriber. So, all right, buddy. Um, Juliet Hotel Alpha, welcome to the channel, man. Thanks very much for subscribing. I really appreciate you showing your support. And for everyone else watching the video, if you want to show your support and you like the, the video, do show your support by subscribing to my channel right now. Hit that subscribe button, hit the bell if you want to be notified um, or not notified accordingly, whatever takes your fancy. And I will see you again in the next one, guys. So look, look after yourselves and take care. Mm.